Mr. Molyneux, all this talk as though the consignees were but passive instruments of the king's will. It was not so long ago that I and Mr. Clark stood with one voice against the king's taxes. And yet just last week, did he refuse outright an invitation from myself and other sons of liberty to discuss these matters in a civil fashion. By this blunt refusal, gentlemen, do the consignees show themselves to be as guilty as Parliament itself! A civil fashion! Order! May I recognize this Mr. Wilfrey Fisher, sir? This Mr. Molyneux. Sir, you speak as if you and your ruffian compatriots are the gentlemen in this debate. Yeah! Mr. Clark and the other consignees are only trying to protect themselves and their families from the likes of you, sir. Here, yeah, yeah. Well said, sir. By refusing to show their face even in a public meeting such as this. Mr. Clark, was it not you, Mr. Molyneux, sir, who threatened, threatened my good friend, Mr. Clark, for his wise refusal to meet with an unnamed crowd under your, your, your so-called liberty tree. Here, here. Was it not you, Mr. Molyneux, who not too long ago led a mob that ransacked the home of our Lieutenant Governor? Why, I believe I should not call you Sir, but by your more fitting nickname known throughout the town, William the Knave. Here, here, sir. Here, here. Order! Here. Order! Shall I? Shall I, sir? name of a few of the other names that have been called by me to you, I sir! A lot of order, gentlemen! Order, you gentlemen! Order, gentlemen. Order, How long must I take your seats now? By God! We will have order in this house! 